I see tape down here, 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 all the way down to the bottom of the block. A deadly trail. So I see a Nike tennis shoe laying in the middle of the street. Left on this Highland Town street. And there's officers walking up, they're picking up debris coming up and down the block. As a man forced to cling to his car would soon be left clinging to his life. Today's Good Friday, and this man lost his life on Good Friday. That's pretty sad to me if you ask me. It unfolded just after five this morning, as we're told a Baltimore City officer came up on three teenagers on North Conkling Street, beating up on a 41 year old man trying to take his car. It confined me because, because I, I'm a mom of one because I want cameras around Conklin. I want cameras. Now in the vehicle, the suspects taking off, dragging the man before fatally striking him with his own car. That really hit home when you see a tennis shoe because that man, that probably was that man's shoe that got drugged down the street. Detectives followed the stolen car just blocks away, ending here on North Clinton Street. And I saw a bunch of tape and a vehicle that looked like it hit a car over there. Where police say two teens got away, but a 16-year-old suspect caught behind the wheel and arrested. And I come out that time of morning for work. So that just to show you that that could have been me. That crime only an inkling of the concerns in this neighborhood. Prostitution and the drugs, that doesn't help neither. Riddled with fear, they say with no solutions in sight. Many now voicing their concerns directly to their councilman, Zeke Cohen. We have experienced a really shocking and heartbreaking level of violence in this corridor. Who says he's working to bring some resolve. It just takes hard work. So that residents could feel safe where they call home. Things aren't getting no better around here. Things are getting worse. So a lot of people are leaving and a lot of people are just scared. Councilman Cohen says he's planning a community meeting sometime next week to talk about the crime in that area. This comes as right now police are still searching for two teen suspects in this case. If you know their whereabouts, you're asked to call police. Live downtown, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV, 11 News.